I've got the ex copy of the book by Eshua the Great devoted occasionally from which I have found out about tarot system. The system of great tarot's lassos, apparently, is one of the most mysterious creations of the human reason. Being philosophical in its essence, probably, it was the original super mathematics simultaneously, allowing predicting the behavior of more complex objects than those were which are the subject of modern science. The more I penetrated into the Egyptian history, culture and scraps of ancient knowledge, miraculously kept, the more understood that I have business with a chasm, where it is incredibly difficult to penetrate even having got special preparation in Egyptology. Nevertheless, I aspired to Egypt at every opportunity. I could explain some miracles of the antiquity and it seemed to me, I could understand and explain something. For example, the phenomenon with the lamps burning hundreds of years in hermetically sealed tombs. Information about them is too numerous and events are happening at different times that it was possible to count their invention. In ancient Egypt, Greece, and Rome they left burning lamps in tombs while sealing them up like a present to the god of death. In 1401 a burning lamp was found in the tomb of Poland near Rome. The lamp had been burning for more than 2,000 years. In 1550 the lamp was burning in just open marble tomb, the island Nisiata. Burning lamps were found in ancient Egypt, in India, China and South America. The attempt of this explanation, a courier of this phenomenon due to connection of lamps with an asbestine match with secret channels to the big tanks of petroleum seems to be insolvent. First, because in a hermetically sealed tomb without oxygen the lamp will not burn. Second, at presence of an airflow a one watt candle will burn about one and a half tons of petroleum per two thousand years, as it may one count. It is not necessary to speak about tens kilograms of soot which is not found in tombs. As a counter hypothesis it is possible to assume that lamps flashed after opening of a tomb with inflow of countering air, creating the illusion of burning during the whole time of burial's existence. The similar effect could be carried out if contemporaries of a varying person knew white phosphorus distinguished by high chemical activity. For example, white phosphorus is ignited at temperature plus 400 C and in the crushed condition 4P plus 502 PO. Pay attention to that fact, which burning lamps were found out in places with a hot climate. Preparation of the external lamp could be like this. The slice of white phosphorus covered with a thin layer of any substance, for example, wax which was discomposed during some time and it was attached to the match of an unlitted lamp. The second burning lamp or candle was put in the tomb, after that the entrance and the tomb was hermetically closed. Having spent the cash oxygen, the burning lamp died out. Oxygen ignited phosphorus after having got in the tomb in many years, and it lit the eternal lamp also. The receiving of phosphorus from phosphorites and appetites is a simple process, and ancient people could know it as well. One of my friends stated an interesting idea. Ancient inhabitants of Egypt and other countries, where great civilizations of the past have blossomed, invented very little in their stories because of their religious pathetic attitude to the world. It was not necessary for them. I myself met the similar phenomenon with deeply religious people. Apparently, this is the consequence of presence of some intuitive knowledge of the truth. What is it for to invent something, if everything is clear enough? In this connection ancient source, legends, books get the status of special importance and reliability that actually Schleiman has shown, having opened Troyo and Iliata by Gomer. The ancient East as the guiding star attracts searches artists, poets, I know some people who are capable to revive pictures of bygone times with the force of their talent. On clocks of surprising Petersburg artists Mark and Sergi Padlov, who are brothers, is unwrapped the wide panorama of ancient East in the mirage of sparkling paints. The mausoleums of great conquerors, shift in gray haze, the populous areas of Samarkand and Bikara, the caravans leaving heated ripples of deserts are clearly seen in their pictures. I peer in deep emotional thoughts, and it seems to me that I hear pressing sounds of East melodies and rustle of the ancient manuscripts concealing eternal secrets of life and death. It is not given a mortal to lift my coverlet. The sun is, undoubtedly, that object which amazed our far ancestors most of all. 
It was a flaring hydrogen sphere, which was impossible to look at, dispatching the warmth to everything alive from the